So welcome to Chinfon Cars. Today we're in a BMW 520. It's a 520D, so it's a diesel. Um, it's a 2017 year um, for BMW 520. I'm going to show you how we use the sport mode. Um, it's actually got three different levels of sport mode. Um, obviously it's a diesel. It's never going to be terribly sporty. Um, but I was going to show you how those three different levels work. And I'm sure it's pretty similar across the range of BMWs. Uh, maybe even Minis share the similar technology, don't they? So um, let's show you how it works in this. Uh, it's a 2017 BMW 520D. Show you how we use the sport modes in this particular car. And we'll have a look at how that works out on the road as well, of course. So first of all, we've got our dash. Now we've got a selector knob here, which we can rotate between the places. Uh, we're going to use the uh, press the menu button. So wherever you are. So wherever you are, anywhere any of these things here, if you just press menu, it just takes you back to the beginning. So I'm just going to rotate this knob across towards the right. And uh, oh, it's there already on my vehicle. So to select it, you just press this down. So I'm just going to select my vehicle. And it's actually, there's loads of stuff in here, of course. It's actually in the vehicle settings. I'm not going to show you all the different profiles and stuff. And in fact, there it is driving experience control there's quite a few things here that we can change but driving experience control gives a bit of a preview up on the side there so let's click into that one there so we've got sport and eco eco mode i've actually made one adjustment to my eco mode just while we're on the subject um, when i'm in eco mode i let the uh, cl I untick the climate control because i find that having um particularly in the sun the climate control being stifled just for fuel economy don't work for me right now, anyway we're here to talk about sport mode so i'm just going to configure the sport mode so it's actually on sport setting for all three things now we don't have a huge amount but let me go into steering for example sport or comfort we'll leave it on sport we're going to leave everything in sport and um it just got a choice of sport or comfort we can't really go into much more um detail than that basically um, but basically we want everything set onto sport because we're going to use the sport mode so i'm just going to press the menu button and go back to the start there. so with the uh, steering for example the steering on sport mode is uh, sharper it's more responsive uh, the transmission we're talking about the uh, the throttle response there so when you're in uh, eco mode for example and you got it on an eco setting then your throttle response it's a little bit you know you put your foot on the throttle and it slowly builds in whereas everything on sport mode it comes in more instantly which is of course what we're here to demonstrate today so let's take a look at this in action right then so we've got a head mounted camera as you can possibly see in the mirror there so just in case anyone thinks I'm holding my camera or my phone while I'm driving. Right then, okay, so we're in sport mode, as we've already said, got P for park there. So let's just show you how this works in action. So I'm just gonna go back a little bit from the car in front. Right then, okay, so we're in sport mode. So this is just where we press the sport button and then I'll show you what the other two modes look like in a moment. So we're just in drive, basically. You see the D on the right there. We've got a speed readout, a digital speed readout on the left, which is different to what we get in uh, comfort. So let's go to comfort. There we go, it says comfort and then there's sport. So the dashboard does look quite differently. Um, so, okay, so I can put my foot down. We've got responsive throttle, it's all good. So, um, Yes, we've got the uh, responsive steering, responsive throttles. This is the first level of sport mode, and it's just a bit more of an, excite, an exciting drive than it being in comfort or eco mode. Right then, okay, so we've got a gear selector, obviously, the automatic gear selector. So we can use this, push it across to the left, and then you can see how the dashboard has changed. So this is sport mode plus one, if you like. So we've got S2, so that's telling us what gear we're in. Just going to make sure we're safe both ways okay so it's gone down to gear number one there gear number two so it's changing the gears automatically and the uh, throttle is you know just as responsive but it's just given a slightly more rev between the gears and um, a slightly sportier acceleration and um, pull away so this is like sport mode plus one if you like so um let me just go back to the normal sport mode so you see how we're just driving along there look at the revs change so when i push the gear selector across to the left you see how it instantly it changes down a gear doesn't it so it's just putting us in a slightly lower gear for the speeds just by pushing that gear selector across to the left 
it's just given us slightly more revs and um, obviously that's what gives us um, puts us in the power band so I'm just going to turn right just here and we'll show you sport mode plus two or however you want to describe it it's the best way I can just like put it into words so okay so the gear selector is still over to the left we've got the uh, it's automatically changing the gears for us at the moment so the next level of sport mode of course is to use the flappy paddle gearbox so in gear number four so let me just push it to the left one obviously changes down a gear so there we go so now it's gone on to m3 so it's put us into gear number three and the m means we're in manual mode basically so mate i can go into gear four gear five even maybe even gear six a bit more of an eco driving um gear for this sort of road and you can see the rev counter it's just showing us where we are in relation to the power band. It's a diesel car, it's not a rare high revving car. And um, well, as you can see, this isn't the type of road for really throttling it, but you're getting the idea of how this works. So the road will straighten up in a moment and we'll go through the gears a little bit more. So, okay, so we've got these three levels of sport then. So we've got, here we go, straight a bit there so we can put our foot down and we can actually manually change up through the gears as the power as we uh, speed up and we get the uh, the digital speedometer on the left there you saw the speed picking up quite nicely as we went through the gears and just using the uh, the paddles to do the gear shifting in this third level of sport which is quite useful now if I just simply don't touch those paddles for a length of time then it's just going to revert back to the uh, the normal s mode and it'll start changing the gears for me in fact the car won't let you put it's put the car into a terrible gear for the speed you're doing so if i tried to change down to um if I, if going up a hill here so if i tried to do this in gear number eight for example the car's not going to let me it's going to just override my inputs basically so you're not got full control of the gearbox it's not like a manual car bmw have programmed it to stop you doing anything stupid but you can see we're in a manual mode we can select the gear changes to um, keep the revs up through the corners and uh, use the gearbox effectively so that's how the sport modes work then in a BMW 520 let me know your thoughts let me know what you think have you got one of these can you use it better than me I'm sure if I put this on a track I could use it a lot better than this <laughs> let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video